And we are live. Friends. Okay, guys, can you hear me? Hey, 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 hey. Howdy. Howdy, friends. Yeah, so I need you guys to let me know if anything isn't working, okay? Um, I gotta say, the, setting up a stream like this isn't for the faint of the heart. Okay, that's good. You guys can hear me, that's good. Yeah. If it wasn't for this whole setup here, I would probably be streaming every week because... I gotta say, I, I really do enjoy doing these little streams, but... It's so complicated. You guys have no idea how much stuff is around me. This is probably the least optimal painting setup you can imagine. Everything works okay. Well, that's, that's good to hear. Yeah. Paint a ninja turtle. Yeah, I should. I'd love to do that. But but probably probably not on this channel. Your accent is golden. <laughs> it's just a super weird German Turkish ac accent. Adam West on my shoulder. Yeah, that's right. Uh, somewhere here. Yeah. Uh, earlier earlier today, I realized that the li the last live stream we did was when I was at um, three hundred thousand subscribers which is already crazy to me, but uh, now, um, who would have thought we have reached 400,000 subscribers, which is even crazier, but at this point, it's, it's all the same. It's all crazy. I'm, I'm great, guys. Thanks for asking. I have my coffee. I, I have a more or less nice painting setup. Um, I've already been painting like half the day here in the studio while I was setting everything up because, um, yeah, I gotta finish this commission that I'm working on, but I'll probably talk more about it in just a bit. But how are you guys? How are you guys doing? I haven't, I feel like I've, I haven't talked to you in a really long time. A lot of new people here. <laughs> Don't do selective reading. Yeah, well, yeah, Simin, it's, it's kind of hard to keep up and it will be even harder to keep up once I start painting because I have my reference over there and I actually have to constantly look at the reference while painting and the chat is over there in the opposite direction so this is gonna be a bit tricky and I might be a bit less talkative than I'm usually but we'll make it work. Already 200 people, well that's crazy. Crazy. Oh, 
Also, so many different names. You guys are from all over the place. Let me know. Let me know in the chat where you guys are from. One of my favorite things to see. Just how everybody like from all over the world comes together in a place like this. Where are you guys from? Brazil. Manchester, Scotland, Brazil, Sri Lanka, Albania, Australia, Turkey, Germany. Crazy. India, Jamaica. Africa. Serbia. USA, Mississippi. This is mind mind boggling to me. Honestly. So many different people from so many different countries. It's crazy. We have Texas, we have Saudi Arabia. One of these days I gotta visit Saudi Arabia. I really wanna see for myself. Japan, California, Philippines. I mean, pretty much the whole world is here. <laughs> Damn. Hey, dream breaker. Thanks a lot. Greetings to India. Yeah, I hope everybody is safe and sound out there. I hope you guys are slowly turning back to normality. I really do. Guys, I'm gonna start in a bit. I'm just waiting for people to to arrive and to unwind a bit before we start painting. Because once I start painting, I, as I mentioned, I'm, I won't be able to read as many comments as I'm reading now. Yes, I am. I am safe and healthy. Thanks for asking. Coffee ready. Always coffee ready. I, I only run on coffee. Yeah, I also wanted to use this opportunity for a few things actually. I mean, I have a painting here that I wanted to share with you because it's something special that I don't do very often these days. But also I wanted to use this stream to have a little Q&A session, answer some questions. I know people have all kinds of different questions all the time and I usually don't get to answer them so I think throughout the stream I'll try to answer as many questions as I can. Hey, we got a super chat from Potter V81. Hi, I love your art and channel. I listen to it a lot. I'm also from Mississippi, USA. It's always hot here. Well, Thanks a bunch for the super chat, Potter, and I really appreciate you showing up today. You deserve a larger audience and more subscribers. Road to one million. Let's claim it, <laughs> Ollie. I wish it was that easy. The thing is, art Believe it or not, it's not the most exciting or entertaining thing uh, you can do. At least not on YouTube. Have you gotten your silver YouTube plaque yet? Uh, yeah. I got that a long time ago, but um, I don't, I don't, I don't care either way. I even, I don't even know where it is, to be honest. 
How do you become a YouTuber, Morris John? Well, how do you become one or how did I become one? Because those are probably completely different answers. Acrylic paints, acrylic oils. Yeah, before we get started, I wanna just let you guys in on what I'm actually going to do here today. Um, as you can see where I'm, or I am painting a beautiful young lady here and um, yeah, this painting is um, a commission and I, these days I rarely do any commissions. Um, fortunately, I'm in the position where I can like pick and choose what I want to do, but uh, sometimes when, especially when I have the opportunity to take the reference photos myself and also decide like how the commission is going to look, give it my own twist and not just like paint a portrait and that's it, um, I'll think about it. And this time it was super super interesting. I could make the photos myself. I could um, decide pretty much everything, every aspect of the painting and um, yeah, it's, it's more, a, it's more, a, more one of my paintings than uh, a portrait of somebody. Lots of Indians here. Yeah. Congrats for 400k. Now waiting to see you at 1 million. Yeah. I don't think it's going to happen, but who knows? Maybe. Liz, the Adam West, uh, that wasn't, that wasn't a commission that was just f for me for fun. Do you have tips on when it's time to stop and let it dry? Yeah. Many, many different tips. How do you get so vibrant skin tones? Oh, how to use blue, green and skin tones. Well, that is, I mean, if anything, that is my, that's my trait. Fooling around with the colors and manipulating them. It's not easy. Just last week, I thought a Sunday afternoon with Alpi would be nice. And here you are. Hey, Zanna, nice to see you here. I hope you're, I hope you're doing great. Uh, yeah, I was thinking about doing a Sunday stream, but um, I will probably wrap this commission up before the weekend, which is why I thought it's now or never. Um, you're probably not going to see me paint something like this for a while now. And it's also maybe a bit interesting for all the people who are super into like technique and like the the, the draftsmanship because this painting is obviously I don't know if you can see but it's a bit more refined and, and is a it has a bit more depth than my other paintings have you already received the package from Nerdforge I'm so excited for you yeah I'll let you guys know I'll keep you updated Oh, we're at 300. Crazy. Friends, uh, do me a favor. Leave a comment, hit the like button so people see this stream because otherwise it will get lost. Uh, in the sheer amount of videos that is out there. So do me a favor, hit that like button. It really helps with the algorithm. Maybe we'll get some more people joining.
How big would you like your channel to grow? Well, I gotta be honest, I don't, I don't really care about the number. You know, I, when I started YouTube, um, and I didn't really want to do it, to be honest, but when I did, I thought like having a, having a small channel with like 50 to 80,000 subscribers and a little community of like-minded people, there will be more than enough for me. That's what I thought. And now here we are, 400,000. Community isn't as like-minded and um, as tight as I would hoped, but I guess that's, that's the price you pay if you grow. If you grow big. Oh, Emine, thank you so much. I saw you in Artists and Illustrators April magazine, which was a lovely surprise. Yeah. Yeah, I, I had a little uh, interview in the Artist and Illustrators magazine. Actually, I have no idea whether or not it's available worldwide. Uh, maybe it might be just a UK thing, but um, yeah, you might want to pick that up. It is a nice little interview. Over 400,000 subscribers, but only 331 of us watching. Come people, you can do better than that. Let's get this live stream viral. Yeah, that's the spirit. That's the spirit. Yeah, but also, I mean, it's Thursday, like what? Uh, morning, Eastern Standard Time and afternoon, early evening here in Europe, so. Maybe that's as good as it gets today. I'm watching this while listening to a team conference call. Well, that's pretty cool. I found you through the YouTubers art collab. You're amazingly talented and I can't wait to see what you do. Ryan. Welcome, Ryan. Yeah, I really hope that you... Uh, that you enjoy the other videos that I do too. Um, as for the collaboration, I promise you I will do something special. I promise you now. It's gonna be different. I'm watching and organizing my notes from college. Well, woke up for me, Kevin. Well, thanks a bunch. Hopefully, hopefully it's, it's worth it for you. to see your work on 10 hundreds project yeah yeah soon friends soon did you already have a new movie scene in mind for your sketchbook paintings for the next one yeah i do i have no idea when i'm gonna do it because i have a bunch of other video ideas that I want to do first, but yeah. I actually have a bunch of different ideas for videos. The only issue is that I am not, I'm not, I don't know if you guys know, but I'm not really, you know, quote unquote, a YouTuber. Um, I do this mostly, mostly in my free time. When I don't do YouTube videos, I'm just a regular artist and painter and I 
and I paint paintings and mo most of the paintings I paint you probably have never seen. I'm sure you haven't seen, haven't seen that. <laughs> I'd like to see you smile at least once. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah, I am a self-taught painter, Bello. I am. Well, anyway, should I get started? What do you guys say? Let me know. Or actually, do you do? You, let me let me ask you something. Would you, would you like me to walk you through what I'm doing here or would you like me to just paint and uh, answer your questions while doing that? What do you prefer? Start now. Let's get started. Please get started. Walk through. Ich habe eine Frage. Wie weiß ich, wie viel meine Werke wert sind? Doro, niedrig anfangen und dann testen, was die Leute bereit sind zu bezahlen. Walk through, walk through. A little bit of both. Walk through. Well, okay. I'm gonna start with a walk through. I'm just, I'm gonna just, I'm gonna start painting and then we'll see. Okay, walk through, walk through, walk through. Okay, walk through it is. Yeah. Okay. Okay, I'll get started. But you guys, don't forget to hit that pesky like button. Okay. How much more refinement do you intend on this portrait? That's a great question. Uh, actually, not much. I think the face is maybe 85 to 90% finished. I don't, wanna, I don't want this to be overly realistic or refined because um, it's not going to get much more realistic than it is now. And when I say realistic, I mean just the depth the painting has, how tangible it looks. If you look at it from afar and what you guys are seeing uh, is probably the standard distance that you would view the painting from, um, it has a lot of depth. Now what's the point in refining all of these areas if you are going to look at the painting from like at least one, uh, one meter away? So that's how I'm going to approach this. Uh, the minimum uh, viewing distance, and then I'm going to decide, okay, how much does the painting need? So the face is okay. I wanna, I wanna um, paint the hair just a bit and see how the painting looks after I do, after I do that. Oh, we got another super chat. Let me read that real quick. Oli, you've helped us tremendously. Art and moral lessons alike. Thank you. Please do watercolor in the future. May we see your signature cap? May we see you with, oh, without your signature cap. <laughs> I promise you someday, someday you will. And, and when, I, when I paint 
on the hair now, there's actually only two things that I'm concerned with. One is to make the whole head stand out even more with the green light and then also to create contrast. I want to I, I want to I wanted to have a real rich deep contrast so that it stands out against the background. Do you plan new art classes after we are done with the pandemic? Yes. Yes. I do. I have I have lots of different plans for classes and workshops and all that kind of stuff. Um, if you guys are interested in that, you have to make sure that you follow me on Instagram. I'll be giving a lot more workshops in the future. needs work in the background does it Is this live stream recorded? Yeah, it is. But uh, I don't know if I'll be releasing it. Maybe I will. I don't know. I read in your bio that you actually studied foreign fine arts at Academy of Fine Arts in Dusseldorf. So how would you be self-taught as you said? Well, that's a good question because most people would say, well, if you studied somewhere, how can you be self-taught? But what if everything I have learned, I had to learn myself? Think about that.
Chanel, totally agree, Alpi. I'm at art school and I still feel like I'm teaching myself everything. Yeah. Yeah. I would never, I would never recommend anybody to go to an art school if you want to become a traditional artist, if that makes sense. If you don't aspire to become a traditional artist and you maybe want to study illustration or, I don't know, graphic design or something like that, I think then there's an argument to be made, but if you want to become a traditional artist, a painter, no, no chance. I don't know if you guys can see, but I'm using, honestly, a lot of paint, a whole lot of paint. I don't know if it, if it translates through the camera lens, but it's a lot of paint. And that is part of the reason why my paintings look so vibrant. It is the the illusion of vibrancy is just the fact that there's so much paint that the light gets immediately reflected from the surface and that makes the whole painting shine and sing. Can you elaborate on that a bit? Oh, hey, Sarah. Shouldn't you be working right now? <laughs> Pros and cons of art school, etc. Um, well, it depends on what kind of art school, really. It really does depend on it. So the paint is too thick and somehow embossed on the canvas. I don't know what that means. Uh, I studied 3D design at university and education comes down to personal drive and dedication to craft. College was great for making connections and community though. Yeah, that is very true. Um, it is, but not, or I shouldn't say not, but it often isn't for fine artists. Now nah, I'm on vacation. Oh yeah, that's right, Sarah, you're on vacation. I well, hope you're enjoying yourself. Yeah, it's hard. It's hard to make any, any connections when you're a fine artist because there's so much competition. Um, I don't know if you guys know this or realize this, but there, there's so much competition um, it's hard to find an environment where you genuinely have people that are interested in like flourishing together. Um, and artists tend to be very uh, selfish and egocentrical. So you also have that. Hey, Andrew, thanks a bunch for the super chat. Self-taught artist with help from Alpi. Well, never stop learning. And I don't even teach you guys. <laughs> I just make videos and put them out into the world and expect people to... 
to think about them. But maybe I will start teaching people soon. I'm thinking about it. I want to attend your workshop in Florence in November. Yeah, that would be awesome. Yeah, I think it's going to happen. I'll be I'll be giving a workshop in Florence, Italy later this year. If if things are open and um, life is back to normal, but I'll I also intend on giving a workshop in uh, Berlin later this year. Yeah. Guys, if if there's one one trick you need to know about making a painting look great, it's using more paint. I often see even professional artists use so little paint. Um drives me crazy sometimes looking at it because you need paint to paint. That's also the reason why if you look at like old artists like uh, the Impressionists or, or even older than that, you might not like the style they have or the paintings they painted, but those paintings, they look incredibly fresh. If you look at them today in the museum, you will see they look super fresh. And that's just the sheer amount of paint they used. Berlin, wann? Ja. Wahrscheinlich Ende des Jahres. Ja, November. Yeah, and I get it. Committing to using a lot of paint and putting it down is kind of hard if you're unexperienced and also a bit intimidated because you will have a harder time making any adjustments or changing things but if you want to have a painting that's that jumps at you when you look at it you have to use a lot of paint Any slim chance do you ever plan to do a workshop in the US yeah sooner or later I'll I probably will but before that happens I will be teaching online stuff occasionally I'm working on something like that so definitely definitely uh, keep your eyes out for that yeah Bugaro is awesome Can we see the color you're using? Well, I only have the one camera set up now and I can't really move it, so. Not really. Did you master oil painting art all on your own? I would say yes. Yeah. I, sh <laughs> by sheer will. Sometimes when I look back, I don't really think that I learned how to paint. Sometimes when I look back, I, it feels like I willed myself to become a, an artist, a, a good painter. Just because I was so obsessed. Uh, 
Who's the artist you admire the most? Either modern or old style. Old art styles. Well, one of my favorite artists is Monet. Claude Monet. Do you think, should we paint like traditional masters? No, you shouldn't. You shouldn't even paint realistic paintings, if you ask me. <laughs> if, you, if, you, if you ask me like how to become a successful artist that can make a living from it and be successful I wouldn't I wouldn't suggest you become a realistic painter actually that that's one of the last things I would suggest to you actually let me back off the camera a bit because I want to also while I'm working on the head and the hair, I want to work on her, like, on this area, her neck area, and maybe you guys can see how much paint I'm using while I paint that area. What is your job before painting full time? I didn't have a job before painting full time. I was always a painter. I might not look like it, but I've been doing this for a long time. 15 years now. your work I can see it plainly <laughs> very nice work don't you think the face structure is a bit odd my face structure well, I think my face structure is perfectly fine Painter is not a job, it's like owning your own business. Well, that's also a job, kind of. Did you charcoal transfer this picture? No.
what I'm doing right now is just I'm putting paint on top of paint because I want to create like layers different layers of um, colors that are on top of each other and that will create vibrance and um, also the illusion of reality No underpainting on this one. Have you ever or would you ever paint a self-portrait? I have painted many self-portraits. I just haven't done it in a long time. But I probably will. For the channel, sometime in the future, I will, I will paint a self-portrait. So as I said, I'm, I'm, I'm putting paint on top of paint just to create more variety and also vibrancy but i'm also trying to balance out the brushwork in the face there's a lot going on here in the face and i have to balance it by bringing the neck to a point where it looks like it's working well together it doesn't need much work it's almost there i mean if you look at it nobody would say ah oh, this this looks kind of kind of wrong or bad or anything And it's always a mixture of painting what I see, but then also just painting what I want. Um, there's a ton I can see, but sometimes I just want something different for the painting. So for example, I want a bit more vibrancy and yellow and variation in the green color. So I just put in more yellow. Now your brushwork is more like searching. It's not searching, it's just at this point I don't I don't intend on like having it finished. I just want to put paint on top of paint. And that can be um, a wild process. And once I and once I think that I have all the colors that I want or need, then I can go in and refine. Somehow got uh, 360 people when did that happen? Your technique amazes me. How can you put random colors here and there and they always end up looking so real like a photograph almost? Well, it might look random, but it's not that random. It's always a mixture of cool and warm. Almost always cool and warm. I'm also deliberately not trying to have the painting be br without brush strokes or super smooth. I don't I don't want that. Because the brushwork also adds to the vibrancy in the end. You probably see that 
in a bit when I when I've put enough paint on to this area and I can start to refine it. How do you not get confused along the various skin tone, skin tone colors on the palette? Yeah, that's another thing. I mean, this is something that I will probably show you guys sometime in the future, maybe in a separate video, maybe in a workshop. Um, but the amount of people asking me for my palette is so crazy because I do most of the mixing on the painting. It's not on the palette. I do the mixing often on the painting. I know what happens when I put red on top of blue, for example, or red on top of green. I don't need to do much paint, uh, much, excuse me, much mixing on the palette. I just pick up what's there and then put it onto the painting surface and then I mix it there. I'm, I'm trying to create the illusion of different colors sitting on top of each other anyway, so I might as well embrace it and don't be too concerned with what's going on on the palette and be more concerned with what's going on on the canvas. That's the important part. It doesn't matter how your palette looks. But I realize it's easier said than done, obviously. But yeah, I do a lot of mixing on the painting surface itself. Do you always have a reference when painting? Yes, always. Do you know Turkish? Evet. Do you make a value study before painting? No, never. Do you like commission work or do you prefer personal work? I don't mind commissions, but um, I don't like painting portrait commissions. Not if it's not something special. What do you do if you're not satisfied with art? Well, nothing. You just do it over again. If this painting now, if I mess this painting up, well, there's not much I can do. I'll just have to do it again. I mean, that would suck, but I would have to do it again. Do you work in a different medium other than oil? Yeah, I sometimes do gouache studies, little gouache paintings. One of my favorite things to do actually, tiny, tiny pop culture gouache paintings. One 
thing that's kind of tricky today is um, it's super hot and super humid and that makes the oil colors dry much quicker than they would usually. Um, it's not a big deal, but it's definitely different. I have to work much quicker than I usually would. What should I do if I am good at drawing, but I want to be a surgeon? Is it possible to do both? I, I mean, of course it is. You just do one in your free time and the other as your, as your day, daily job. I don't, I don't see why you can't. Was there ever a point when you thought of giving up or leaving painting? Well, I've never thought about leaving painting or giving up painting. I will always be a painter. That ship has long sailed. I will always be a painter. But I thought about like doing something different uh, to make a living many, many times. Many times. And for various reasons, it's, it's not just one reason why one would think about that. Looking good. Yeah. By the way, I'll, I'm, I'm, I'm going to start to slowly clean this area up now. I have put down a lot of different colors. As you can see, we have blue, ye yellow, red, um, all kinds of different uh, skin tone colors. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to tie it all together. I missed the jazz music in the background. Well, feel free to complain, to use YouTube uh, and complain about it. Uh, they, they demonetize pretty much anything. Have you done collaborations in the past? Uh, not on YouTube. you start with the portraits straight away what was the process um, I, 
I started with uh, with a acrylic wash. So all the yellowish areas that you can see, this area right here, for example, that's all the wash shining through. Um, and I did that on purpose because I wanted to have the contrast between the cool background and the warm lighting behind it. It acts as sort of like a background light. Um, and then I started to paint the portrait straight away. Do you know what you will paint on the collab painting with Slew, Nerdforge and 1000 etc? No, I don't. But uh, as I said, I'll try to make something sp special. I'm, I'm definitely not just gonna paint like a face or anything like that. That will be boring. It would also completely throw off the whole look of the painting. But then again, I, I, I have a feeling my part will stick out like a like a soft thumb. How do you make that green? It looks neon. Yeah, it's not neon. It's just... It's just because of the other colors that it looks so intense. I feel like the portrait will blink sooner or later. Yeah, that's the magic of vibrant paint and... Um, yeah. I guess the right word that I'm looking for is... Uh, a bold approach to painting. Are you going to paint Loki? Maybe. Who would like to see me paint Loki? Let me know in the chat. Give me like a like a fire or a lightning. That's better. Give me a lightning emoji if you want to see me paint Loki. And I'll do it. If enough people want to see it, I will paint the I will paint the most epic Loki painting you can imagine, but people will have to want it. Oh, we got some lightning bolts. Not that many, but a few. Okay, more. Paint Loki. Yes, yes, lightning. Who is Loki? Whoop, you guys. Oh, that's a lot of lightning bolts. Loki, Loki, Lucky. I love Loki. Loki deserves it. When is that coming out, by the way? Who is Loki? Come on, you know who, Lo who Loki is? Everybody's favorite Marvel villain. We now generated electricity for the whole city. Well done. Son of Odin. Okay. It 
It is coming on June 9th. Okay. Okay. Interesting. Maybe I maybe I have to paint the most epic Loki fan art ever. Collaboration painting. Yep. It's coming soon. Can you see how it's slowly coming together? It's partially getting a bit softer and the neck area is looking a bit more elegant. Do you have paintings of Noni in your sketchbook? No. My dear little Noni assistant, uh, I haven't painted her yet. But I will. But I will. Do you plan every time before you paint, like a schedule, what art is going to be next? Yeah, I have to do that. Dream breaker. Um, because of the fact that I usually have to work on my own st or quote unquote my own stuff I have to work on my gallery paintings I have to work on uh, like my regular art I have to squeeze in YouTube all the time and usually what I do is I create paintings just for YouTube maybe I'll change it in the future but for now it's the only way I can make it work because the rest like the other paintings they just take too long it's just, I can't really justify spending a, that much time on making a video, like weeks, and then uh, putting it out and then maybe only a few thousand people will watch it. But if you guys want to support that, if you guys want to help me make that happen, you know, create paintings like these uh, for one of the videos, then you can support the channel over at Patreon. Let me put a link here for anyone who wants to support the channel. Your help would be greatly appreciated. But if not, that's fine too. You know, uh, videos are going to be free. There you go. May we peep your palette, please? I'll show you. I'll show you in a bit. Do you consider the green aura around the face warm or cold color? It's both. Depending on where you look, it's both. I'm going to page on next week. Take me to the Patreon. Yeah, the Patreon for the channel has been growing like crazy the past few months. And if it continues like that, I will probably make more videos and be more consistent with the, with the videos. I will make more complex videos. That would be cool.
painting something like this for a video, that would be awesome. Alternatively, uh, you can also give the stream a thumbs up. That helps too. Do you have tutorials on Patreon? Yeah, I don't have tutorials, but I have some other videos and it's actually going to be a monthly thing now. Um, one video every month you will be able to see in real time the process it's unnarrated uh it's just you have background music but you can see every brush stroke from start to finish you can take your time watching it you can observe and in my opinion it's the best if you want to learn something if you're interested in that that is the best way to learn just by observation that's how i learned to paint just looking at how, just observing and looking how other people did it and then trying to emulate it. How do you get such thin lines with a thick brush? Yeah, that's just basic, like, um, what's the right word? Uh, fine motor skills. I've been swinging this brush here for many, many years. I, I've developed, like, it's a skill. It's like, it's like using drumsticks. You got to train it. Yeah, I'll keep moving here. I at least want to finish this neck area today. Sarah, cut a run. Well, have a good one. That's a great comment, Blink. Yeah, I can only second that. A lot of the questions uh, you ask, you can find the answers in the videos. Thanks, thanks. How can you resist the urge to blend too much? <laughs> I don't have that urge.
For whatever reason, I don't have that urge. I think I think uh, one of the th one of the secrets is to um, always look at the big picture. Um, and the way I do that sometimes, or actually a lot of times, is I don't really, f when I'm painting, I don't focus on one particular particular area. I kind of zoom out a bit with my eyes and observe the painting as a whole while doing that. Um, that's also why you will see me squint all the time during the painting process. Um, I should be I should be like this all the time because that also helps. Work on the collarbone a bit. Give it a bit more dimensionality. Also, I have to put a bit more paint down here. A bit too light. Maybe even more. My daughter liked your chicken video. That's that's really cool. Shading looks gorgeous. Yeah, maybe I'll. I can also put the camera down a bit. Zoom out a bit more. What about that? Now oh, you can see even better. And we'll get to the best part in a bit. But I still have to do some, some build up here and there.
How come most of your portraits don't have smiles? That is a good, that is a good question. Um, I don't like it. And I don't mean that I don't like smiles, but I think smiles, capturing a smile is something that photography does. And if you paint it, if you paint a smile, it always looks kind of off. Because when you paint a painting, it's all, it's usually something, it's not, it's not capturing a moment, it's capturing a period of time. And that's why I prefer to keep it neutral. But she does have a little smile on her face. We're also already at 700 likes. That's pretty cool. Maybe I'll maybe I'll leave the stream up after it's finished. Maybe I'll do that for a change. Or actually, maybe if we if we hit like 1k likes, I'll leave the stream up. How about that? I don't know how interesting it will be, but... You should paint a self-portrait. I love Stracciatella. Who doesn't? Give this smart artist his 1k likes. <laughs> Floating Waffle. That's a that's a genius username. Floating Waffle. I like that. Are you going to put more paint on her clothes? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It will be very much still abstract shapes, but there will be more paint on her clothes. Yeah. But for now, I'm preparing this part here because I wanna, I wanna finish it. Like a, uh, like what's that called? Collarbone area because she also has a necklace and I want to put the necklace in too but I want to be smart about it and just put it in with a few brush strokes 
Left shoulder looks a bit small. So interesting. If it's just your camera angle, doesn't matter, guys. Don't worry about it. If you worry about those things, is it too small? Is it is it too big or anything? You are focusing on the wrong things. Always got to see the big picture. This looks nice. Now it's starting to come together with the cool greens and blues. I think proportions are pretty important to focus on at least somewhat when it comes to portraiture. Do you not? I don't. But to each their own. thinking of the rubber ducky live stream <laughs> yeah that was a good one it was a it was a nice painting session her collarbone is so nice man Do you intentionally hold your brush near the tip? Doesn't that make you control the brush harder? No. It's actually the opposite. It makes controlling the brush much easier. Yeah, painting a chicken. Give some tips for painting bright and shadow part. Um, one of the best tips I can give anybody in terms of painting shadows and painting highlights or, or bright parts is always use transparent paint when you paint shadows as much as you can and always use opaque paint as much paint actually as you can when you're painting highlights. That's the best advice I can give you. Are you only using one brush? I'm using a bunch of different brushes, but I can I can do a lot with just one brush. 
Did I use a color wheel while practicing color mixing? No. No. But your shadows are not transparent. Are you sure? Okay, so this looks like a nice collarbone, neck, shoulder area, right? Okay, so the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put in the uh, necklace. And I'm gonna do it in a very simple yet effective way. Let me see.
mostly going to paint the shadow of the necklace. This, for example, this is not the necklace, this is just the shadow. And then I will use like some highlight paint, some bright paint. that like that There you go. Can you see? Super easy way to paint something. You just you forget about the object itself and you paint the shadows. Tracy, that's a lovely comment. <laughs> Super funny. Yeah, I'm always surprised. Magic, unbelievable. Yeah. Oh, I can't zoom in more. Not super easy, but looks beautiful. It's actually a lot easier than you would think. This is nice. This looks good. Hey, sketch with packs. Thanks a bunch. Really appreciate it. We're almost at 800 likes, guys. Well, you can do it. Share, share the stream. Get more people to watch and maybe we'll crack the 1k and I'll leave the stream up. Also, uh, now that I have you here, uh, I need your opinion on something. Um, I was, I had an idea for a video and uh, I would like to hear your thoughts on it. Um, what would you guys think if I made a video where I review and critique your art? How would you guys like that? Anything, bro. No. <laughs> that would be cool. Yes, yes. 
would be amazing. Go for it very much. Love it. Yeah, bitte. Yes, sure. I would like that. Seems fun. Love the idea. Yes, yes, would love it. To be fair, those are the ones I often skip. Floating waffle. Don't do that. You should never skip any video. Shame on you. But yeah, yeah. Yes, but my art isn't ready for other people. Let me back up again a bit and let's see the... I'll try to give you a better picture of the painting. Less distortion. How does that look? Ooh. So you guys would be into that. Looks like. Okay, I'll think about it. Well, <laughs> floating waffle. You better watch, watch the videos. And and there goes. Uh, that's for all of you. If you haven't seen the last video, right after the stream is finished, you know what you have to do. Yes, definitely. I would love that. Yeah, I think that could be interesting. Um, I wouldn't just ask for you to send me something. Uh, it would be around a topic, maybe. Um, I'll have to. I'll have to think about it. Maybe. Maybe a common theme that that people can create something around. Maybe a self-portrait, something like that. That would be that would be great. I would like that. Ah, that's good, floating waffle. That's good to hear. I don't care about the rest. As long as you watch my reviews. <laughs> All of your videos at least ten times, no joke. Well, there's still room. There will be so much fun, yeah. Yeah, I'll think about it and um, yeah, probably let you know in, in one of the videos. But it will be some time before, before I can do that. Next up is definitely the collaboration painting. I know people are looking forward to that, so as soon as it's here and as soon as I um, know what I, what I want to paint, uh, I'll get on with that.
Doesn't have to be only oil paintings. What kind of medium are you working with right now? No medium, it's just oil paint. Should I zoom in again, so you guys can see better? That lady is really beautiful. I feel that she is going to give you a hug any moment. It looks alive. Well, Sophie? There you have it. She is. I bet you feel like you know her after studying her face. Yeah, if I didn't knew her, I would.
The look in her eyes indeed looks so realistic. Ten hundred had his baby. Oh, he had a baby. Well, congratulations. Bye. Danke. Bye. Thanks for joining. Every artist has a muse. I wonder what's yours. Well, I have one too. Any advice to improve realism in your portraits? Well, it's not easy. There's, there's no real easy answer. Maybe forget about it. <laughs> forget about the realism. That might be the best thing you could do. It already looks really, really nice. Uh, I think the all the all the most important elements are there. This and it's really hard to tell at this point what the painting needs in the end because I haven't painted the background yet. And when I paint the background, it will probably look completely different. That's usually what happens. But for now, I want it to be realistic, but only because this is a portrait commission and the client asked me to paint it a bit more realistic than I otherwise would. Um, if it was completely up to me, like 100%, I wouldn't have painted it this way. But they wanted it to be a bit more realistic, a bit closer to my older paintings actually. And I said, sure, I can do that, no problem. Why have the uploads been reduced lately? You mean my uploads? I don't think they have. What's the biggest mistake I've ever made in my art career and how did you overcome it? Wow, that's a tough question. It's, it's a good one, but it's also complicated. The, the, I guess the, the first thing that comes to my mind is um, the biggest mistake that I made was that I was focusing on technique when I was young. Probably like 80% of the people looking at this right now. Which is kind of ironic, but that's how it is. I was completely focusing on technique and I was obsessed with like learning how to paint and how to be a better painter, all that kind of stuff. 
and being so focused on that made me completely completely oblivious to the real important things and it took a while before I learned that it is what it is yeah and if you have to make if you have to make that experience fine maybe you do have to make that experience and then learn from it but if you don't then well that's a valuable piece of advice for you and maybe maybe you might be better off thinking about it Nurture of a nature, inspiring. Right now I just want to achieve a really good technique, skills and well maybe skip focusing too much on that would actually help me to find my own style. Guys, what can I say? When did you decide to be a full-time artist? As a teenager? Pretty much. Susanna, but maybe you needed to focus on the technique and learn it perfectly before focusing entirely on the style. Maybe you wouldn't be such a great artist if you didn't. Yeah, uh, I, don't, I don't think that's true. I wish it was. Uh, sometimes I wish it was that way, but there are plenty of examples of artists that are nearly as like, technically versed as I am, and they are doing really well. They're doing great, even greater, some of them. It matters so much less than you would think um, that, it's, that it's even surprising that so many people uh, are, are obsessed by it. But anyway, what do I know? Everybody has to make their own experiences. Yeah.
Is your style what you thought it would be? Or has it evolved on its own? Well, if you've seen my one of my last videos, you know how much my style has changed. If you've seen the pair video, that's a, that's a huge change. I never thought I would paint like this. Do you feel burnout all the time? Portrait of the woman 10 years later showcases it too. Yeah, that's true. slowly getting there Maybe I can even, maybe I can paint the hand too, because there's also a hand. Goodness, I'm late. Donny, you are. You are late. Okay, let me see if I can maybe get this up a bit. Whoop. Okay. Wow, that is big painting. Yeah, it's big. I'm going to show you in a bit how big it is. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to show you. It's a biggie. Yeah. Oh, let me actually oil it out. You guys don't know what that is. It, it just means that I put a like a thin layer of oil on top so that the so that the colors come back and I have an easier time painting into the painting. Now the stream will probably go completely down the numbers because whenever, whenever I paint something other than 
a face, people somehow lose interest. Which is crazy to me, but that's how it is. If you guys have any um, theories on why that is, I would love to hear that. It's a mystery to me. They can't paint them. Faces are detailed, so I guess makes sense. Maybe because faces are what beginners usually want to draw at first. Maybe, yeah. People think getting the face correct is a major achievement, yeah. Most people only keep in lives about a few seconds. How much of your day is painting versus business matters? My life is maybe 20% painting. Twenty percent, lol. I hear you. Wow, that's crazy. I feel like I have to paint all day. Blink. I think I'll go now. Then see. That's what I'm talking about. I'll be in your next live stream. Well, that's all right then. Bye bye. Let me see if I can speed this up a bit. Painting is a slow process. I hate that about painting sometimes, but it takes time and it's so boring when you watch it. Sometimes envy all these like sculptors and diorama builders. Feels like those people, like what they are doing is a hundred times more interesting than what I'm doing here. But you know, the grass is always greener. Indeed. Great things take time, that's true. It isn't as rewarding.
have to go now. Of course you, of course you guys do. <laughs> Painting a hand is boring. I get it. I get it. That's all right. It's slow burn satisfying. I am very interested in someone painting hands. That's good, at least someone is. Blink has come back everyone. Blink! There you go. You just blinked. Blink and you'll miss it. It looked great before and it looks great now. Uh, well. It doesn't look like much now, but I will I will make it look good. I promise.
<laughs> that looks weird, but it looks it looks right in real life. Promise. What I'm doing now is I'm redefining the shape, not by painting the fingers, but by painting the shadows, pretty much the same way I painted the necklace. Next live stream, I don't know. I have no idea. I have no idea. It always depends on how much people want it. If, if you guys want to see live streams, I will make more live streams.
also has a ring here. I'm gonna try to just suggest it because I don't wanna paint the whole thing. And maybe I can get away by just like, just putting a few brush strokes there and suggesting it. Uh, more live streams and I'll keep coming to spice up the chat. Okay. Why are you holding so far back the brush? More control. Uh, I always want to see the painting from as far away as I can. That's why. There's no point in looking at the painting like this while painting because you're, you, in the end you will look at the painting from this distance, this distance anyway. So you might as well do it while you're painting. steady the brushes yeah that is something you learn by just doing it for many many years you just develop a steady hand Automatically, I guess. you like digital art? Yeah, I do. I like all kinds of different types of art, not just painting.
Still 260 people watching. Even though I'm painting just a hand. That's good. You are slow and calm. It's nice to watch it unfold like that. Yeah, I'm even slower now because this setup here, you guys can't see it, but it's far from being perfect. It's now 12.30 a.m. in my country and Opa is still keeping me awake. Hey, Don. Just a bit longer, just a bit more longer. We're getting there. So the reason why I'm spending so much time here is I want the hand to be expressive. I don't want it to look realistic. I don't want it to look too um, tactile. I want it to be expressive and also um, fit the rest of the painting. And finding that balance is kind of tricky um, because the reference photo that I have isn't very good. The hand posture itself isn't very nice or beautiful. So it's a bit trickier to turn it into something that's not too, uh, too much distracting from the rest, if that makes sense. Do most of your reference photos for paintings taken by you? Yeah, uh, I, I would say 50-50. This is, this is taken by me. Um, it's a portrait commission, but I don't have a problem using, using like found footage, found references. I like doing that actually sometimes. Why you don't paint men? Oh, I do. I just did. Check out the last video. Guys, if you haven't watched the last video, I highly suggest you do after the stream is finished. Because I think it's a pretty cool video. Two point five hours live so far. Yeah. Crazy how fast the time. 
You were stressed. I was. If you look at the video, um, if you look at the video, and if you pay attention to the first like five seconds, um, the first five seconds are my reactions later during the process. But if you watch, you can see how red my eyes, uh, my ears are. And then it jumps to the beginning of like before the session. And then you can see the huge difference in redness in my ears. You are sweating. Du warst wirklich roter am Anfang. Ja? Es war sehr stressig. Need to go to work. Been great and looking forward to Lucky, Andrew, ja. Yeah. Tricky. It's tricky. This one is tr is tricky. It's all about finding the balance. Alpa, you got one K likes. Uh oh, <laughs> I guess I'll have to leave the stream up.
What's your longest time spent on a painting? A month? It's gonna be a long day. It was a long day. It's been a long day. Whoops. Almost messed that up. People still watching? Yeah. Can we call you Sherlock? Me? I mean, sure. I don't know why, but you can. Go, 2000 likes. Yeah, I don't think that's, <laughs> not in this stream, not going to happen. Maybe, maybe 1.1K, maybe we can do that. Anybody hasn't liked the stream yet? Do me a favor, guys, give it a thumbs up. Gotta show the YouTube algorithm uh, that this is worth showing people. Getting there. I would like to watch you paint a toucan. That's funny, Carlos, because I've been thinking about it so much. Uh, yeah, true. Dream Baker. Last stream was Bill Horn. Um, and you guys helped me uh, make that a huge success, by the way, because uh, eventually um, it was Katherine Heigl who ended up buying that bird, which is pretty cool in my opinion. But yeah. I've been thinking about painting a toucan uh, for a while. But I have a feeling that people won't be into it, if I'm honest. I might be wrong, but that's... Right now I have a feeling that people won't be too interested in me painting a toucan.
We are not people. <laughs> you are. Yeah, Catherine Heigl. She uh, she got the painting. So let me see how is this hand looking. It looks horrible in the video, but I promise you it doesn't look like that. It's just the perspective. Maybe I shouldn't save the stream. Or make a fool of myself. I'd love to watch your entire live stream again later. Will you leave it up on your channel? Well, as I promised you guys, if we re if we reach 1k likes, I will leave it up. So yeah, I will leave it up. I will leave it up. Promise. I have no idea how helpful it is for people. Um, but I'll leave it up. I have a feeling I'm rambling too much. I should focus on the painting more. Let me see. It is helpful, it gives a really good idea of how long it takes to make something look good and how to leave rough strokes. When do you think the paint painting started with 1000 will arrive? Well, I, I, can't, I think I will get started on it next week. Time for a paint roller. Well, that part is going to happen off, offline. Because I need room. I have so much stuff here. It's the downside of streaming while painting. Can't do everything. Can you zoom out? Yeah, I'll zoom out in a bit. Is this oil painting? Yeah, this is oil painting. I want to make just a 
Just a few more adjustments here. Um, and then I will get back to the head and then we can take a look at it from a bit further away and see how it looks. How on earth do you know where to put those bright little color accents? It's, it's, a, it's a mixture of a few things. It's intuition, it's experience, it's color theory. People are still watching. You got 1k likes, so it stays safe. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. I'll leave it up.
I'll probably have to revisit this area. I'm not feeling it. We will keep watching as long as you keep streaming. That's the spirit. There isn't something weird, trust me. It's just that these things look much weirder than you would think. Reality is weird. Just look at your own hand. Just. Put it on something, look at your hand and and then and then decide if that looks weird or if that looks beautiful and pleasant. I have a feeling it will look super weird. That's okay. I, it's just paint. You can always paint on top of it. And I also have other reference photos uh, from the same photo session. And maybe I can use a different hand and put that on top. I don't know. I mean, it's not. It doesn't look wrong or bad, but it doesn't look as. Yeah, effortless as I would like it to look, if that makes sense. Yeah, this is looking a bit better now. Just exaggerating, you know, making it even more flowing and expressive helps. It's wrong. <laughs> it's It doesn't look like the reference, but it looks better.
This is elegant. Can you, dream breaker, uh, can you consider the idea of explaining color theory in your next video? Probably not, to be honest. Um, I like doing these things um, while also doing other things. You know, making a dedicated video just for that isn't really my style. But it's interesting how just like exaggerating, making everything wrong basically helps. <laughs> just make it look wrong. Much better now. Still looks weird from your perspective because of the like the extreme uh, perspective distortion. But if you look at it like straight from the front, it looks okay. We're also viewing this closer than we ultimately meant to. That's also true, yeah? I, I don't think it makes a difference in this case because it's just a weird angle. It's already at a weird angle, but looking at it from the side makes it look even weirder. you paint with music music in the background or in silence I usually paint with um, audio books in the background I don't listen to music when I normally paint never kind of books do you enjoy pretty much everything I like to switch uh, from uh, nonfiction to fiction uh, I like to switch from fantasy to science fiction I love um, um, crime novels I'm a huge Sherlock Holmes fan some of you maybe know that already but I am a huge Sherlock Holmes fan and Arthur Conan Doyle fan. So if you ever want to make me 
happy. You can always give me something Sherlock Holmes related and you can always put a smile on my face with that. But I'd say it's 70% non-fiction and 30% fiction. Okay. Oh, we always we uh, always. No, it's getting it's getting late. We already crossed the three hour mark. Who did Sherlock better, Robert Downey Jr. or Benedict Cumberbatch? I like Benedict Cumberbatch's Sherlock better, just because it's closer, it's a bit closer to the original. Now this hand becomes fascinating and I'm going to appreciate your touch a lot. Yeah, it's looking better now. I'll probably still repaint it, but it's looking better now. Okay, maybe it's time also to take a look at the painting as a whole, what do you say? Carlos. Well, thank you guys for joining. What do you what do you say? Should we take a look at it? So just so you see like how this painting actually looks. Oops, I think I did a huge mess there. Yeah. Okay, let me see. How can I do this without like accidentally ending the stream? Let me try to. Okay. Oh. Got to back off more. Got to 
back off even more. Let's see. Okay. That's gotta be enough. It looks spectacular from afar. Very nice. Beautiful, wow man, what a talent. Okay. I'd buy it if I had cash. How big is it? Uh, it's, I don't even know, like one meter by 90 centimeters. Something like that. Voice is very low. Yeah, because the mic is way over there. Should be better now. I don't show the palette for various reasons, but the biggest reason is uh, it takes a, a third camera. Not one, not two, but three. Guys, it's not as simple as it looks. Yeah, and maybe, maybe, let me see. I can show you like this. Yeah. Okay. Do you like it yourself so far? Well, I will like it when I start to destroy it more. <laughs> I'm only satisfied once I destroyed it again. It's too perfect for me right now. What I'm basically going to do is I, I will paint some of the areas um, and then I will destroy it again and then I will repaint only the important areas and then it should be good and then I should be happy with it. How many more hours will it take to finish the painting? Well, to be honest, what we did today here isn't anywhere near representative of how I usually work. So this is closer, obviously, this is closer to real life than um, the videos that are sped up and edited in a way that it looks super fast and effortless. but. This is much slower than I usually work and I will probably finish it in a day. It's just one day more work and then it's finished. Derek, yeah. Incomplete when it's perfect, yeah, definitely for me. Yeah. But what do you say? Would you like to see me also make videos of bigger paintings? I mean, I can imagine 
of course you would like to see that but um, it would still be reassuring I'm seeing a handful of yeses. Yeah, why not? Warum nicht ein Deckengemälde? Ein bisschen viel Arbeit. Yeah, I will post the live stream. I would love to watch you paint something bigger. Yeah, I paint bigger paintings all the time, much bigger than this. Yeah, Carlos, that's right. I make a lot of big paintings. You can see them all on my Instagram. By the way, if you aren't following me on Instagram, do that. Kannst auch Deutsch sprechen, yeah. Lass doch einfach bei der Arbeit die Cam laufen. Yeah, that's right. Check out my Instagram if you want to see what I usually paint or what else I paint. If you only follow my YouTube channel, if you only follow me here on YouTube, you only see 20% of what I do. Just so you know, guys. My Instagram handle name. Come on. It's obviously my name. I'm surprised that, that people aren't following me on Instagram. Eleven o'clock in India. Yeah, it's uh, half past seven. PM here. Yeah. It's getting late. I don't like social media. I only come on YouTube. Yeah. Isn't it the same? Same, same, but different. How do you pronounce my name? Well, there are different ways of pronouncing it. You can say Alpi, you can say Alpi. 
you can say if, you can say FA, whatever works for you, I don't mind. How do you pronounce your name? I pronounce my name Alpai. But yeah, three and a half hours, friends. That was a that was a long session. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, let me know if you want to see more streams in the future. Uh, more lightning emojis if you want to see me stream more often. How about that? And maybe I can make it a more regular thing. Yes. Yeah. Do more often. That's a little bit of lightning and uh, not really representative. Oh, that's a bit more, a bit more. Guys, you have to bring the thunder if you want to see me stream more. Yeah, I did. I did enjoy this, especially because I could show you something that I usually can't uh, in the videos. And I oh, that's a lot of lightning. That's thunder right there. Nice. And I think it's it's nice to see. You know, not only the curated stuff for the videos on YouTube, but also what's going on behind the scenes. And maybe next time I will do something else. I will do like a one of my small gouache paintings, for example. Or we are going, to, or we can go back to painting something random, completely random again. I would love to do that again too. We'll see. saves you a lot of time. I don't have to do any editing. Yeah, well, it depends on how many people watch it. If only a handful of people watch the stream after I release it, uh, I might have to rethink it. But yeah, I think was, uh, this was nice. Uh, really enjoyed hanging out with you guys. People are dropping off already. So I guess, I guess we'll call it a day. Um, if you haven't seen the last video, I highly suggest you do. Um, it's a good one. Leave a like, leave a comment, um, subscribe. If you aren't subscribed, 
Next thing I'll be painting will probably be the collab painting that I got from Martina and Hansi. So you can watch out for that. And yeah. I think that's it. And also for all the people, I will leave the stream up so you can watch it later as promised. Thank you for the stream. Yeah, you're welcome. And yeah, bye bye. Have a good one, friends.